Well, hello. Um, my name is Grant Lormer. I'm a master's uh, biomedical engineering student, and this is uh, Michael Galvetto, and he's my uh, partner. And together, our team name is uh, Exfoli. So I'm sure some of you guys know what graphene is, but um, for others who don't, graphene is an extremely lightweight material. It's actually one third the weight of steel. It's extremely strong, 100 times the strength of steel, and electrically conductive. Um, it's actually more conductive than copper wire. Um, these characteristics give it a uh, vast uh, field range. Um, it's used for batteries, superconductors, photovoltaic cells, um, filtration systems, as long as many, many more fields. Um, the current problem in the graphene market right now is that it is extremely hard to uh, produce at a low price point. So it's very high cost to produce, low production volume, and is very difficult to control the quality of that. And this is where our solution comes in. So our new equipment design is using a supercritical C uh, CO2 drying technique that allows for a low production of this um, high quality graphene. It's also able to be scaled. Um, our current equipment costs approximately 20,000 to uh, create a 110 liter unit, whereas the uh, current industry standard is about a 80 liter unit vessel for $600,000. Oh. So our, our current customer segment, um, our way to market that we find is the lowest hanging fruit would be through um, licensing out the technique to current graphene manufacturers. Um, the major ones in the U.S. right now are Angstren with a 300 metric ton per year uh, capacity, uh, XG Sciences, which is actually located here in Michigan, that produces 80 tons per year, Vorbeck, Applied Graphene Materials, Directive Plus, and many, many more. Um, there's also many outside of the U.S., but graphene is by no, by no means a saturated market. Our first targeted customer that we feel is our easiest to attain would be XG Sciences. Um, currently, they have about a thousand different companies total. Um, they, many of which are Fortune 400 companies like Boeing, Honda, um, you can check out more on the right here. Um, but the current problem with XG Sciences is that they don't have a high quality graphene product line. Um, they also don't, are not producing a large quantity, um, only 80 tons as opposed to Angstrom, which is currently has the production capacity of 300 tons. And uh, they have a production facility that is $8 million, uh, $8 million production facility, and uh, was valued, went public in 2016 and was valued at uh, $12 million, and is currently valued at $16 million. So our value prop to these companies is that increased uh, quality uh, graphene. Um, and we can produce an increased volume for the same amount of price that they're currently um, investing in their production facility. We predict that we could increase their uh, quantity produced to 600% of their current production or reduce the cost to one seventh their uh, current cost for that same 80 ton um, production. And this is very important to XG Sciences because the graphene market is rapidly growing. Um, unfortunately, it, you need to dive in quickly and capture as much of this uh, market as you can and become a big player. Currently, they're one of the biggest distributors in the United States. So other competition. So we're looking at other competition as the processes to make graphene. Um, the current techniques are liquid exfoliation, microwave exfoliation, uh, and mechanical exfoliation. There's also something called CVD, which is uh, chemical vapor deposition. This is only used for certain graphene um, products such as touch screens and uh, a few others, but it has limited capability as it can only produce sheets of graphene, like thin sheets of graphene. Um, our unit is a $20,000 unit that can produce about 2.5 tons per year, um, and the cost to produce a ton uh, once the equipment uh, costs are factored in, would be $5,000 a ton. And our competition uh, produces at approximately $35,000 a ton right now. Um, and we can improve the quality drastically. So here's a quick quality comparison. I know this looks kind of tacky. I'm sure you've seen a lot of green on the left, red and yellow on the right today. Um, but ours is the key to graphene is producing low layer amount of graphene. 
So ours is one to five layers, whereas um, SG Science's current top quality graphene, which they only label as C quality because it truly isn't great quality, is only three to 15 layers with most of the graphene produced being more towards that 15 layer mark. Um, the lower amount of layers increases the mechanical strength and the electrical conductivity. As you can see, our uh, electrical conduct conductivity is uh, drastically increased. Um, and our product is defect free with uh, no, no very few impurities. So the graphene market is growing drastically. I mean, it has a 44% CAGR right now, um, and it's expected to increase over the years, actually. Um, Marcus Marcus projected the uh, market to become 278 million by 2020. And uh, Europe actually invested $6 billion in the past five years into uh, graphene research. Um, it's also projected that it could encapsulate a portion of the carbon fiber market due to its lightweight um, qualities and its high mechanical strength. And the graphene market right now is at approximately 3.5 billion, so I could encapsulate the large amount. So um, the market breakdown of what graphene can be used for. Right now, it is predominantly in research. Um, however, in 2026, this is expected to just be 2% of the total graphene market. Um, as you can see, most of the graphene market is currently in energy storage. This is with the uh, super capacitors and the uh, batteries. Batteries as well. Um, currently, the total uh, production of graphene is only at 900, or a little, little above 900 tons. We project that with that $8 million facility that Extra Sciences currently has now, we would be able to produce 675 tons, which is a large portion of the graphene market. And the major issue with the graphene market right now is developing that low price point. That's so not investment. Right. This is what actually sciences has in there. If we're they're they're just changing their process and they don't have to invest? No. no. We're, just, we're, just, we're, just, we're just basically saying if we were to have the same $8 million investment, they did, this is what we do. It's just a different process. Yeah, different process. Right. Just. So our two options for going to market. Um, first of all, we could do direct sales to consumers. Um, or no, our first option is selling that equipment to extra scientists and other manufacturing companies right now and licensing out the technique. And the second option is to self produce the graphene and use them as a middleman. It kind of depends on what, she, what the structure of the field is. So, our development status right now currently we have our uh, patent pending. We filed our provisional and we're, uh, we just filed our utility as well, and it's patent pending. Um, We've done all of our market research. It's a rapidly changing market, so we're um, consistently checking on it and uh, making sure that uh, we're up to date. Um, our equipment development. So uh, the science for the separa separation technique has been confirmed. However, it is not scalable, and that's what we are bringing to the system. Um, we have our patent. Uh, we have patented the scalable technology with and have used it on other materials. However, we haven't used it on graphene. Um, we have designed the prototype, however, we need our funding to produce the equipment. Uh, so for our commercialization plan, our first, our first uh, option would be for constructing up a small scale system. Then we look to validate and characterize our graphene to ensure it has the qualities that um, these companies want. And then we lastly are going on to create a scaled up system. And so the funding breakdown, we're looking for $60,000 funded in three different steps. First of all, we want $29,000 for the construction of a small scale system. Um, this would be able to produce 78, seven to eight grams of graphene uh, an hour, uh, which is a small amount, but um, it's just mainly to make sure that we have the correct quality of graphene. Then we just need three thousand dollars to validate and characterize our graphene. That can all be done within Wayne State. Uh, and then twenty-eight thousand for a scaled up system. Um, that concludes our presentation and